and the championship fight between Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos. All right, here he is, the former UFC champion and arguably the nicest guy in the sport. He is Junior Dos Santos, another one of these young fathers, DC, who has really been buoyed and motivated by having children in his day-to-day. -day. He's very nice, but he's also very deadly. He, he has massive power in his hands, and he's got a great ability to hide all of his strikes. He does a fantastic job of feigning with the front shoulder to draw out his opponent's reactions, and then he follows with that massive right hand that we saw finish Frank Mir, also the massive uppercut that finished Fabricio Verdun, and the overhand right of Cain Velasquez. At the end of the day, it's the right hand that holds the key to Junior Dos Santos's victory. And perhaps no heavyweight has responded to adversity better than JDS. He has never lost back-to-back -back fights in his mixed martial arts career. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. The Brazilian is 36. The Brit is 40. He weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a three inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing us. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador, Bahia, Brazil. Presenting the challenger, Junior Zagano. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 47 wins, 19 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, do fight. All right, here we go with the heavyweights. This round one gets underway between Junior Dos Santos and Alistair Overeem. And near perfect performance, I thought, for Overeem in the first meeting. We'll try to duplicate it here today. And it's going to be very tough to top what he did the first time against a very tough Junior Dos Santos. But he gets an opportunity tonight to know that he will fight a better JDS in the rematch. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, he's timed his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed a target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Dos Santos going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Punch is blocked. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Martin engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, nice. Again, back into this position. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the ring. Oh! He's close. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. 38 total strikes have now landed for Junior Dos Santos. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Yes. You see on that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got him! He got him! Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Back to the feet now. Oh, wow, this left kick is already taking effect. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we oh, see oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He shot him for very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. We got him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand there. Oh, nice punch there by Overeem. Yes. It almost looked like he went lift there for a second. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. A little single collar tie there. Sneak and move there by Junior Dos Santos. You can see his boxing coach, Luis Doria, in his corner. Asked to like what he is seeing out of Dos Santos tonight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice punch there. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh! oh! Unbelievable! <laughs> Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight.
So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Junior Zagato Dos Santos. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.